Hello everybody, this is Saad with you again, your favorite theater, and it's about 6 a.m. in the morning, the sun is rising, I've had an all-nighter, why is because I've spent the entire night doing multiple Zoom calls, around nine of them with my investors all over the globe for this amazing project, which I don't want to leave the YouTube family out of this, I want to keep my audience posted about phase two of the Valley coming up very soon, the announcement has been made. They have shown us how phase two is going to be looking like, what to expect with phase two. It looks absolutely amazing. And I just want to show you a quick presentation and analysis on the Valley phase two and why this is going to be the hottest townhouse opportunity in 2024. So let's just get into it. Let's just begin with the map of the Valley. As you know, the Valley is positioned perfectly on Dubai Land Road. I don't know if this is very clear in the video, but this is one straight road that takes you all the way up to Sheikh Zayed Road. Uh, it connects you to multiple important highways of Dubai. This right here is Emirates Road. This right here is Sheikh Hamdan Street. This right here is Mohammed bin Zayed Highway. And we also have direct connection to um, Etihad Road and also Sheikh Zayed Road. So this is one of the most important roads in Dubai, which connects you to all the major highways in Dubai. And your distance to downtown, again, is only going to be about 25 minutes. Your distance to the new downtown of Dubai, which is Dubai Creek Harbor, is going to be around 21 to 22 minutes. The distance to the existing airport is going to be around 25 minutes. And also to the new airport will be around 25 minutes. So perfectly placed location. It's a whole new location introduced by EMAR and now we are going into phase two. There's a lot of development expected in this area in terms of other developers also coming in to make their communities. Shoba is going to come here with their community. On the opposite side, we are expecting a Miras community coming up. So this area in the next five years is going to have a lot of development, many developers coming in to develop their own communities along this Dubai Alain Highway. So let's just move along. Let's Moving on, this is some of the amazing amenities from phase one of the valley. As we know, we have a huge 70,000 square meter town center. We had the Golden Beach, which is 47,000 square meters. We had the Kids Dale, which is a 13,000 square kilometer area. And we had the entire sports village with multiple sporting facilities, which was around 25,000 square meters. So the great part about valley phase two is that Everyone in phase one can access phase two amenities and from phase two, they can access the phase one amenities. So everyone can use the amenities that are within the entire Valley master plan. So it's going to be open for everyone. So great news for people who invested in phase one because phase two has some amazing amenities that we're going to take a look at. So let's move along into phase two of the Valley. We had a whole presentation today, uh, a proper briefing. And I just want to share the same details that I've received so that you can also be um, aware about this opportunity. So what's the investment opportunity right here in the valley? The price per square foot is 993 dirhams per square foot. Starting price is going to be 993. If you take a look at Eden, which is the first cluster of the valley, which was handed over earlier this year, the prices today for townhouses, compact townhouses, which are only about 1900 square foot, trading at around 1300 dirhams per square foot. If you go and take a look at the prices, which I'm gonna do right now, we are straight away gonna get into the price analysis so that we can understand the value proposition in the valley, the, the, the analysis. Now, if you take a look at the secondary market prices in Eden, 2.6 million, 2.5 million, 2.55, 2.65. These are the prices for a three bedroom townhouse in the Eden cluster of the valley, which is the first handed over cluster where people are staying as of today. People have moved in to this very cluster. You can see the prices and on average, you're looking at around 1300 dirhams per square foot. So when you compare valley phase one with phase two and now Please note, this is an introductory offer into phase two. They want to start this off with a bang and give the investors a great price point to enter at. We are looking at a comparison between phase one and phase two. 993 versus 1,300 dirhams per square foot. This makes it a price gap of 31% already between phase one and phase two in terms of prices. So if you are looking to buy something ready in the valley a small compact townhouse 1900 
square foot, you're looking to pay around 2.6, 2.5, 2.6 million on average. And the starting price right here in the new phase of Valley, which is going to have a townhouse of a size of 2,450 square foot. So that's a huge size. Plus the plot sizes are going to be around 1,900 square foot. So that's, again, really huge. In, in this one, the plot sizes are only around 1,500 square foot. The built up is around 1,900. So huge jumps in plot sizes and also in built up areas. You can see the amazing price gap between these two. Moving along, I just want to compare Valley Phase 2 to the competitors, comparable communities in the market. So we have uh, Valley Phase 1 in the comparison. We have Emar South, Riverside by Damak. We have Ariban which is 3 by Emar. Dubai is a state by Emar. The Heights, which is a new community by Emar. Expo City by Expo City. Haven by Aldar and also Athlon by Aldar. You can take a look at the different prices per square foot all over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an average of all of these and compare it to the price that is on offer in phase two of the valley. So this is what we're looking at on, on average, all of these communities combined, we are looking at 1,440 dirhams per square foot. And in the valley, we are looking at only under 1,000, which is only about 993 dirhams per square foot. That makes a price gap of 45%. So you can understand the value proposition that you have in the valley. The valley, just to catch up to the average prices of comparable communities in Dubai, you're looking at a 45% jump. That is a huge gain to be had in the valley. This is a phenomenal opportunity. Another comparison I just want to show you is taking a look at the average price per square foot in all of Dubai. If you take the entire Dubai and you take the prices per square foot, we are today sitting at 1,400 dirhams per square foot. Again, if you compare that to phase two of the valley, you're looking at a price gap of 41%. A, a premium EMAR community, which is 41% under average, it's a no-brainer deal to be investing right here. That is why I'm presenting to you this very opportunity. And we're gonna take a look deeper into what amenities and what's coming up in the valley. So let's just get into it again. That's our price per square foot. Starting price per square foot is amazing. The, the, the floor plans this time is absolutely amazing. They've taken the same floor plans from Greenway in Emar South, which I was a huge fan of, and they've implemented the same floor plan here. I'm so happy because the Valley is my favorite community, and the Greenway 2 floor plan was my favorite floor plan out of all the townhouses, and that's exactly what they've brought in here. You have a 450 square foot living and dining space, which is absolutely amazing. You have a closed kitchen, which a lot of people prefer in Dubai. You have a 90 square foot entrance for year, which is going to be a massive entrance for year. For a three bedroom townhouse, this is unheard of of having this kind of a luxury within a three bedroom townhouse. We are expecting really large size bedrooms. As you can see, this bedroom, the width is going to be more than five meters. So that's a huge space. Uh, you're going to have uh, walk-in wardrobes for all the bedrooms. You can see you have three bedrooms right here. In the ground floor, you have your massive living and dining area. And also you have your maid's room. Moving along to the four bedroom townhouse, we're looking at built up areas of 2,750 plus square foot and average plot size of 3,289 square foot. This is the size of plot of villas in Dubai. This is a massive plot for a townhouse. As you can see, the floor plan is also amazing. You're going to have on the first floor, all three bedrooms en suite with their washrooms. As you can see, no sharing. All of them have, will have their same, uh, their en suite washrooms. All the three bedrooms are totally en suite. In the ground floor, you have your beautiful entrance for year. And then as you enter, you have your semi-closed kitchen, which can be easily closed. You have your guest bedroom, and then you have your huge living and dining area with full floor to ceiling windows. You're also gonna have a maid's room, which is gonna be right here, right by the entrance. So again, phenomenal floor plan right here. I was a huge fan of this in Greenway too. I had pushed that product out to my investors, which a great uh, floor plan, but the Valley overall, much better community uh, investing here with that kind of a floor plan. It's a no brainer deal, especially at prices like these. You're going to take a look now at the starting prices for the three beds. You're looking at 2.48 million for the four bedrooms. You're looking at 2.84 million. That makes it a starting price of 993 dirhams per square foot. And for the four beds, you're looking at around 1,050 dirhams per square foot as a starting price. Phenomenal opportunity coming up right here. Now we're going to take a look at the amenities and what you can expect within phase two of the valley. So this is some different 
uh, segments that they have divided the new phase two into. They're going to have a forest area. They're going to have a river area. They're going to have a valley area. Then they're going to have the meadows and then they're going to have the hills. So these are five distinct areas that they're creating in the valley and how they've designed it is in the V pattern. As you can see, this is forming like a V and they've planned it in a way to signify the logo of the valley. With Moving along, these are the different themes of nature that they're implementing into this very cluster. So it's going to be a very, um, it's going to, you're going to feel part of the elements of nature. It has a huge ele nature element into this phase two. It's going to be a lot of outdoor activities added into this phase two of the valley. I'm going to show you some of them. It's a huge list of 33 amenities that are going to be there all along the loop park that is going to be part of the valley. So many things right here. Um, you can pause the video and read through it. You're going to have valley trails with rocks, gravels and native planting, nature themed play area, the lakeside pavilion. There's so many things right here. So let's move along into some more of the presentation. As you can see, you're going to have all these kind of amenities within the valley. This is uh, how it's going to look like on the inside. This was the middle theme, uh, the middle loop park that you saw right here. And you can see the distance, the vastness of this park. It's going to be around 350 meters. The distance between the villas here. The, so these are going to be twin villas which will be launched in the future. Uh, we expected twin villas to launch here, but they surprised us by launching townhouses first. So these twin villas will be launching in the future, but you can see like this gap right here is around 350 meters. So this park is absolutely vast in terms of the width. So let's take a look at some more renders. This is gonna be a new sports area that they're gonna add into the phase two of the valley. As you can see, beautiful landscaping and uh, they're gonna take care of all the sporting amenities within this community. And you can see again, they're going to introduce lakes, water features, plants. Uh, it's going to be absolutely amazing. The landscaping of Imar is absolutely top notch. You can take a look at the different communities. You can also take a look at what they've already done inside the valley with the existing uh, cluster of Eden. And then some more clusters to be handed over later this year. So they're already at it at the valley. There's ongoing development there's going to be clusters handing over every six months and we've already made it into phase two but this is still initial phases of the valley because after phase two uh, after the clusters come in we're going to have more phases of the valley coming in and this land parcel so emar is just acquiring land parcel after land parcel in that location so they're going to keep adding uh, more and more phases and clusters into the valley until they have almost reached the edge and they're touching the markets too. So it's going to be a massive community on the scale of uh, Dubai is a state similar or larger size than Dubai is a state is what the valley is going to be. So you can see some more renders of how it looks like the nature areas that they're creating within valley. It looks absolutely amazing. So this is the uh, cluster, uh, the, the master plan of phase two of the valley. So they're going to launch two clusters right here. They're going to launch Velora, which is going to be right here. And then they're going to launch Venera, which is right here. The great part about this is that all of them are going to be four plexes. So each row of townhouses is going to be only four townhouses in each row. Four bedroom on one side, four bedroom on the other side, and two, three bedrooms in the middle. So it's going to be a four plex. So that's going to allow a lot of free spaces between the clusters. It's not going to be long six plexes or eight plexes. Only four plexes in this, in this two clusters coming up right here. Moving along, I just want to show you some more renders of this community. It looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, you have winding trails, uh, play areas right here, outdoor gathering spaces for people to come together, open lawns. And moving along, as I said, all of the all of the townhouses are going to be part of four plexes only. Six different looks for townhouses in here. So all of the townhouses are going to be looking different from each other, which is going to add to the... Um, visual element of this community is going to look absolutely amazing as you can see four plexes everywhere there's going to be no back-to-back -back townhouses there's going to be ample amount of space between each cluster there's a lot of open spaces as you can see if you're on this side free space to walk all the way here free space every over here over here so each and every four clusters they're going to be clean space between every four uh, townhouses basically so that's a fourplex right here and moving along this is venera the cluster map of venera as you can see, again, only four plexes to be found within this. And over here as well, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different styles of townhouses 
they're only going to differ in the outside facades, the architectural look from the outside, from the inside, they're all identical, they just look different from the outside. Moving along, as you can see the vastness of the, the lawn area or the plot, you can see the depth of the plot, you could literally add swimming pools in this kind of a plot, it's going to be a huge plot. This is the four bedroom corner unit, as you can see the massive plot area right here, more than 3000 square foot of plot area. I think 3,250 is the plot area of this one. So it's absolutely amazing. These are some of the renders of the insides. As you can see, looks absolutely amazing. Uh, this is some of the views into the park areas from the townhouses. Now this is how a fourplex is gonna look like. As I said, the corner units are four bedrooms and in the middle, you're gonna have three bedrooms. This is the rear view of the townhouse. And this is going to be like the front view of the townhouse. Again, this is the four bedroom unit. This right here is a three bedroom unit. It looks very modern and very sophisticated. Moving along, um, this is going to be another render of the rear. And as we move along, what do we have right here? The opportunity is expansive built up areas with efficient designs, largest plot sizes for three and four bedroom townhouses in the market. So if you are a lover of space, open, areas, big plot areas for your townhouses. This is the very opportunity that you should be exploring at a very attractive price per square foot, starting from 993, 2.5 million starting price for the three bedrooms. It's an amazing deal. As you can see, the success story of the Valley phase one was amazing. The prices started at around 1.2 million, today trading at 2.5 million, 2.6 million. So you've seen more than 100% gain in ROE. That's phenomenal. The payment plan is going to be really amazing. It's going to be 80-20 payment plan where it's structured to be payments of only 20% per year. So the down payment is going to be 10%. Uh, a couple of months later, you're going to pay another 10%. Then after that, every six months is going to be 10%. So it's structured in an amazing way, 20% per year until handover, uh, which is going to be in 2028. So this is uh, another render and the booking date starts very, very soon. It's already 26th. Today is 26th when I'll be uploading this video. Tomorrow, 27th is when the registration begins. And on 29th of June is when the booking begins. So you don't have much time. Uh, there's limited units. There's so much buzz in the market for this Valley Phase 2. I've been uh, telling my audience about Phase 2 from a long time that Phase 2 is coming. Be ready and it's already here. So do not miss out on this opportunity. Get in touch ASAP if you would like to book yourself a unit in this amazing Phase 2 of the Valley. Massive growth to be expected. Similar townhouses in Dubai Hills Estate are trading at anywhere around 5 million, 5.5 million for a 3 bedroom. So phenomenal opportunity right here. Less than half the price of what you would have in Dubai Hills Estate. Amazing opportunity coming up right here. So this right here was phase two of the valley. And for now, this is Saad Dubai Realtor signing off.